Hello, beautiful Nikki here from Crazy Simple Truth Ministries. And hey, I have some really cool stuff from Mr. Penn that I want to share with you today. Are y'all ready for this? Da -na 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 -na. Watch, this is hilarious. You're like, I'm here for Bible study. What is that? Okay, well, I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Mr. Penn sells all kinds of cool things now. Look at this. This is a whole gardening kit. Like a whole kit. Look at that. It's a whole kit of stuff. Anyway, there's that. So make sure you check out Mr. Penn because they do sell all kinds of things besides Bible study tools. You want to see something else I got that's not a Bible study tool, but it's super cute? Boop, 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 boop. These are Bible verse wall decor. And so these are literally prints that you can hang up in your house. You can frame them. They're beautiful. I'm going to put them in my little girl's room. There's my uh, mustache. Um, so they have scriptures on them and they're these beautiful, just simple plant photos. And they have scriptures. They're very nice quality, very thick, solid. Um, beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay, but now let's get into some Bible study stuff, okay? So we got some of this and some of this and some of this. Woo, I keep bumping you some of this. Some of this, this, I told you, I got a lot. Okay, and one little pen there. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Cause you know, I needed more highlighters. I have a highlighting addiction. Anyway, um, these are so cool. Look at this cute little thing. So my little one literally sat and played with this for almost 40 minutes yesterday. She took the lid off and took them all out, laid them out, looked at them, put them back in. I'll add a video clip to this of what she did. It was the cutest thing. But these are fun because they're macaron colors, but they're um, kind of triangular. So they're really easy to hold on to. So that's kind of a fun one. Um, let's just get a piece of paper and we will just kind of color some of these out. So here's this one. So they're, they're pastel-y. Here's uh, this one, the blue. Ooh, that's kind of pretty blue. Here's this one. I haven't used these yet. I haven't gotten to play with them yet. So this is kind of fun. And this one. The peach is a little neon-y for me. Um, maybe that blue too, but they're pretty. And I really like the way that they feel in your hands. I'm kind of weird about that. There's the pink and there's the purple. So that is those. They'd make an adorable gift for someone for like a birthday or something because they are in this really cute little, very sturdy container and they look super cute on your desk. These I love because these are aesthetically pleasing. They are just the blue ones. So if you're doing a certain study, um, my daughter Serenity does, for instance, she's actually going through Exodus right now and she has a color scheme for Exodus. And her color scheme is not so much the purples, but she's got the blues. And so this would be a great pack for you to get if you had a project or a book that you were going through that had these. I'm going through Esther right now and we're using a lot of purples because they're royal colors. So these would be perfect for that. These are aesthetic highlighters and I'm not really sure what they look like. So let's get them out and see. Let's just see, shall we? Oh, that one doesn't want to come out. Come out, little friend. That's because I have, come out, little friend. Come out. Okay, you ready? Let's see what they look like. I could be doing this in a Bible, but I'm not. Let's see. Oh, they're very interesting. They're um, they're wet, in lack of a better word. They're rectangular. They're almost kind of glossy. Like they kind of have like a shimmery look to them almost. They're very cool. Very cool. Lots of purples. I can use that for my Esther study. 
It's interesting to me that this is red and it's like nowhere near red. See how there are those nice muted tones? That's kind of a cool thing right now. No, I don't particularly like that yellow, but it is muted. I like the green. So there are those. So there's this little packety doo da here. And I may, um, I'm, I'm going to try to like link these exact items for you, but I might not find them all. So you may just have to click the link, one of the links below and search Mr. Penn's store to find some of these little guys here. These are aesthetic highlighters and they are very, very similar to those. So I'm not going to get them out and show you all the colors, but they are the same tips. Okay, and they've got that same square feeling to them. So that's a huge kit there of really nice highlighters. Um, let's see, here is transparent sticky tabs. Let's see what this is. Cute box, by the way, super cute. This would be a cute gift to go with this to give to someone. Ooh, those are cute. I wonder if that's what this pen is for. I bet that's what this pen is for super cute super cute comes with a little ruler they're transparent you can write on them and put them over things in your bible so that's really fun those are super cute um i'll be using some of these in upcoming videos so make sure you watch for them these are sticky index tabs let's check this out did i not open it yet oh maybe i opened it from the bottom i thought i opened them so these are just index tabs these are great because you can make your own bible tabs um, so there's lots of different colors there. I'd love to see these in the more pastel muted colors, um, but these are great too, just for anything, any project, but definitely Bible study. These are fun. These are highlighting strips. Oh, and there's some clear paper. Ooh, I didn't even notice this. How's this work? Yeah, I guess I don't really know how they work, um, but I do know that this is just like washi tape and you literally would just use it to highlight in your Bible. So let me show you. If you wanted to highlight this verse, you would just put it there and then you would cut it off. And an easy way to do that is to use a credit card or a ruler or something that's kind of, ooh, those are hard to tear. Okay, you'd have to use scissors because these are um, kind of plasticky, but super fun. So those are cool. Um, these must be just the transparent sticky uh, pa pages that you can put in your Bible, and I bet you can use this pen on it too. I really don't know. I should pay better attention to what these things are for before I show them to you, but you know, that's how Nikki works. Some more aesthetic highlighters, and these are crazy neon colored. Not my favorite, but if you like to highlight with those, Mr. Penn has such good prices. Now these are adorable. You want to know why they're adorable? Look at the Mr. Penn mustache on them. Look at how cute they are. And they're actually really good quality. They have this really pretty little silver thing. It says Mr. Penn on it. Could that be any cuter? So these two would make a super fun gift or just a great way to carry around your different colored pens for what project you're working on. These are the garden markers and they actually go with the gardening set. So those are to write on the little garden, garden uh, tags that are in here those little tags. Um, since this isn't a gardening channel, I'm not going to show you that, but they're, they're, they are really cool. And you know what I'm super most excited about in this kit? Weed picker. Yes, weed picker. These are adorable. Look at how cute those are. So those are the nice muted tones. Adorable, adorable, adorable pack. Look at how cute they are. Aren't they cute? I love those. This is, okay, wait, let me show you this first. Here's some more Bible tabs that are just the nice muted, um, more muted colors, and they're kind of all aesthetically pleasing there. They go super awesome with this. This would make a really great gift for someone also. Um, and then we've got some ballpoint pens, and I'm very curious what these write like. I think they're very neat looking. They're squared off, and they have this cool gold tip, and so I am curious to try these out. I'll use them in a video sometimes, so watch for that. And these are brand new and super fun. So these are Bible study notes. And this is a sticky pad and you write the reference and then you write your note. How cool is that? Then you got your memory verse here and you're gonna write the scripture reference, your date that you wanna memorize it by. And then you're gonna write the verse and hang these in your house. And then these are, oh, I gotta show you the front of it, I forgot. 
There's tabs. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Look at how cute this is, though, first of all. Is that not adorable? That's adorable. But there's also little um, clear tabs that you can put in your Bible, too. So you can post those. Why can't I get them? Oh, there we go. Ah, there we go. So they're kind of see-through. And so you could use those in your Bible to highlight a certain thing also, which is super fun. Is that not adorable? That is so adorable. Okay, so the last thing that I wanted to show you was just, let's let's just get these pens out and play with them for a minute while I have some time. Hopefully you have some time. People never have time anymore for videos, ever. Like, everybody wants the shorts that are super, super fast. And I've created a lot of shorts recently. I've been creating them with my old videos. Um, with tips in them that are really popular. And so if you've noticed I've had longer hair and I weighed like 15 pounds less, that's because they're older videos, but they have really valuable information in them. So I'm still using those. Girl, when you start to hit perimenopausal and menopausal phase, you pack on the pounds, I'm telling you. That stinks. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I'm super, oh, aren't they cool? They're like a matte color. Super excited about these. Oh, they actually write really smooth. I wasn't sure. I was afraid they were gonna be clumpy. They actually write really smooth. So there's the black, there's the blue. Ooh, I like them. I don't know how much they are. I'll have to check them out for you guys if I can find them. The case is like rub, kind of, a dull rubbery feeling so it feels like it's easy to hang on to super fun Ooh, let's see this pink oh it's kind of a neon orange that one's a little clumpy I suppose that happens to all point a ballpoint pens here's a red these are great for Bible study because when you're marking repetitions I think it's really good and important to use the same color that one's a neon pink. Those are really fun. Here's an orange. Ooh, I like that color. That's fun. Okay, here's the green. I have, you guys, I'm falling apart. I'm telling you I'm falling apart. I have arthritis in my thumb down here. And I've had this for a couple of years, but now it's coming over here. It's so hard for me to grasp things and pull them off. Like, how am I gonna study the Bible if I'm falling apart? Okay, there's the blue, and then here is the lavender. Yeah, those are pretty fun, and aren't they neat looking? Like, they'd be super sharp looking in one of these bags. And then you would just put them in, take them with you, wherever it is that you're going to study the Bible, and you can mark your repetitions with that. So super fun, all kinds of cool goodies that I got from them. Love Mr. Penn, love using their products, love promoting their products. They did not pay me for this video. I just truly love their products. So I hope that you will check them out. I'll put a link below to their store and then you can pick out anything there. There's so many amazing things and not just Bible study and studying um, teacher tools, anything like that, but also beautiful artwork for your house, tools to pick the weeds out of your driveway cracks. Like how cool is that? I mean, so many awesome things that Mr. Penn carries now. Look at these nice little cutters. Those are amazing. Got the hoe. Is this called the hoe? Got the hoe, yo. I got the... Fade. I don't know what they're called. I'm so not a gardener. We tried. We tried. We tried to grow plants. We got the grow lights. We got the warming mats. We bought the expensive seeds and they never bloomed. Not a single one of them. Not a single one bloomed. <laughs> uh, so maybe I'll, this will be, maybe this will turn over a new leaf for me, right? <laughs> anyway, you're beautiful. God loves you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.